Hi there, I'm John Lebensold, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a PayPal shopping cart. This first video is going to discuss some of the, I guess, underlying technologies very briefly and also what that shopping cart looks like and what we should end up with at the end of this series. We're going to be using PHP with XML to store our shopping cart, and we're going to be doing this with PayPal. And PayPal offers a whole suite of different tools to interface your web application, your shopping cart, with their services. However, we're going to be using the simplest one since the goal of this video is essentially, or this video package, is just to provide you with the tools to create a simple shopping cart. So what we see here is we've got essentially three pages. We've got view cart, view store, and clear cart. If I view my cart right now, I've got uh, two cans of tomato soup and one bag of pasta. We are also using the shipping and we're also calculating totals. Uh, I can clear my cart right here and if I go back I can also add another can of tomato soup to my cart and I can buy it there or I can go back to the store and add some fresh cumin as well and maybe I'll add two more orders of pasta as well. So obviously this interface could be in, built upon and you could add some more functionality. However, by the end of this video series, you'll understand the underlying structure well enough to be able to do that on your own. We're also using the PayPal sandbox. So if I hit buy now, I'm going to be taken right now initially to the sandbox server for PayPal. However, we can very easily flip that onto the production PayPal server for uh, moving our website from the sandbox where fake transactions occur and fake emails are sent to the production server where uh, real transactions occur and real money is sent. So at the top here you can see that PayPal has recognized the different products and their quantities including the shipping and handling which we're also going to be covering in this video and I'm just going to log in as a dummy user Now normally any regular PayPal user would be able to log in and they would see this which is essentially their bill and I've got a fake credit card here so I'll hit pay now and once the transaction has been completed if I go to the PayPal Development Center which we're also going to cover we're going to set up a PayPal user uh, developers account so that we can do all this kind of testing and I go to the test email page we'll see the transaction that's just occurred and that information gets communicated both to the seller and to the buyer and if I go back to the test accounts page I can actually log in to what is essentially a duplicate of the PayPal website but it's just for doing development testing. So I'm going to log in now as a business user, which is BBB. And you'll see that I've got a nice balance here, which is from all the fake transactions that have occurred. And this way, you don't need to set up all of the regular business information to set up the shopping cart that you want to integrate into the PayPal services. So that's a quick overview of what we're going to accomplish in this video series. In the next video I'm going to talk a little more about the terminology. We're going to talk about what XML is, what refactoring is, and you might hear me throw that term around a little. Uh, we're going to talk about an IDE and Eclipse and why we're using Eclipse to get this job done as opposed to something like Dreamweaver or some basic text editor. And, and that should be about it. I'm John Levensold and thanks for listening.